Hey what's going on gang, welcome to your 41st Vue.js tutorial and in this video we're going to go ahead and start adding route links to our project. Alright then, so we have set up our routing using the history mode so that if we go to forward slash we get this view right here which is loading in the show blogs component and if we go to forward slash add we get this view here which is loading in the add blog component so that's really cool, we've got our routing up and running. However, now how about adding in some kind of header at the top with a navigation bar in, with maybe two links. One link takes you to this view and one link takes you to the other view and loads in that component. We can do this. We're going to create a new component to create the header. So I'm going to right click components and go to new file and we're going to call this header.view. And then I'm just going to paste this thing in right here. So an empty template, an empty object and empty star tags. So how do we want this header to look? Well, first of all, let's do a nav element and then inside that we'll do a UL and then inside this a series of li tags and each li tag is going to have a link in it. Now I guess what we could do is anchor tags like this, href equals forward slash to take you home or forward slash add to take you to the blog view. Okay, uh, yeah we could do that but instead I want to use something else. I want to use a tag called router link. Okay, and this is provided by the view router. And this is better because it intercepts the click event so we don't reload the page, whereas we would if we just added in an anchor tag. Okay, so it's a bit quicker. So the router link takes um, an attribute called two, and that is equal to whatever URL we want to go to. So for example, forward slash for the home. So we'll put in blog here because this is going to load in this show, uh, this show blogs component. Then we'll do another li tag. Then again, router hyphen link to. And then that is going to be equal to forward slash add. And this is to add a new blog. So add a new blog. OK, so now then we have created this. We can now import it into the root component right here and display it. So I'm just going to copy this for now and paste it down below and we'll change this to header and we'll change this to header as well and we'll go down here and what we'll do is come under mm -hmm. and we'll say app hyphen header and this is going to be header okay and the reason remember we did app header is because header is already a html tag okay then so let's do app hyphen header now and save that and view this in a browser. Okay, so now we get these two links and if we go to blog, it takes us here and if we go to add new blog, it takes us there. This is really cool. So if we right click, we can actually see that in the console or rather in this uh, element selector, we see these A tags added, all right? And uh, check this out. If something is active, then we get this router link active. So if we go to blog, we can see that this blog thing right here has a router link active associated with it. Now we can use that to style this link to show that it's active, okay? But first of all, I wanna just add some kind of generic styles to this header. So I'm gonna copy and paste these from my GitHub repository. The link to that is down below. You wanna select uh, lesson 41, I think we're on. So I'm gonna paste these down here in the styles and there's some really basic styles. So we're styling the UL right there. So it's got a list style type of none, text align center, margin zero, uh, display ally tags as inline block, give them a bit of a margin. Uh, we're giving these A links a color of white, text decoration none, bit of padding and a border radius. And then the nav element has got a background of kind of like a deep gray, some padding and a margin, uh, a margin bottom of 40 pixels. So if I save that now, let's just see this. Okay, so that's what the nav bar looks like now. Now let's make use of that active class. So if we inspect this again, when we go to blog, we can see that this has a class of router link active. So we can make use of that to show we're on this page. So let's go to the CSS again and add in this class. So we'll say dot router hyphen link hyphen active and then style this so that the background is going to be EEE, -E -E, which is kind of like a really light gray and the color is going to be 444, which is a dark gray. So if we save this now, now we see this has this kind of styling because it's got this um, styling for this class right here. Check this out. If we click on this one, hmm, 
they both get this style in. So they're both active. Okay, no, that's because if we inspect this element again, we still get router link active on this, even though it's not technically active. And that's because it's got this bit within it. So it doesn't have to exactly match this. It's just got forward slash in it. So if we go to forward slash anything whatsoever, this is go always going to be active. Likewise, this one, if we inspect this, if we go to forward slash add and then forward slash something else, you know, and that was some kind of page, then forward slash add would also still have this router link active as well as this. Make sense? Now we can get around this. All we need to do is use a property called exact on both of these. And what that is going to do is only make these active if the URL is exactly this or exactly that, not just contains that. Make sense? So now if I refresh, we can see only this one has this class of the uh, router link active, and then only this one has that class as well. Okay, so that is much better. So there we go. We have set up some links for our project, and this is all starting to take shape now.